Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and its community here on COD Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We've got a quick show, but there's a lot of interesting things that I think you're going to want to see within it. So without further ado, let's kick things right off with our first story of the day. Along with the haunting DLC update released yesterday, Treyarch introduced a new feature into round-based as well as Outbreak Zombies maps. Yesterday, we talked a lot about the Jack-O-Lantern item drops that basically are probably the most overpowered drop Treyarch has ever added into a Zombies mode that makes the mode super easy, although a lot of fun. But the other reward that Treyarch added was in the form of the scare packages that spawn every five Five rounds in round based zombies maps and do reward you with a pretty good amount of loot. But players hopping into zombies today have noticed that sometimes they're, they're finding it a little bit difficult to find where their scare packages are spawning into the map. That is, until they start looking up where players are noticing that, for whatever reason, scare packages are spawning within the ceiling of maps like Di Machine. I've seen reports of some players that say when they spawn in the ceiling, if you're able to get it at just the right angle, you'll still be able to get the contents of the scare package, other players, like in this example here, try as you might. That scare package might as well just be Gonzo Alonzo. You won't be able to get it open, unfortunately. I've mostly seen this issue happening on Dimashine, and my guess is that it's occurring when you're underground, when the round flips over from like 4 to 5, or 9 to 10, right? Those every 5 rounds that they're supposed to spawn. If you're underground, the game will think it's supposed to spawn the crate near you, and when it does that, it spawns in the ceiling, or in the case of this, player, it spawns literally within the catwalk of the Speed Cola room. So if you're hopping in to play some round-based zombies sometime soon and you notice that you can't find your scare package anywhere, take a look underground of the map and try to find it in places that it probably should not be. Next up, today is Treyarch's 25th anniversary of existence as a game studio. To celebrate, they made a blog post talking a little bit about the history of the company. It does mention that they've worked on a lot of the zombies mode throughout the years, but in celebration of this event, Treyarch has announced that they're holding two triple-double weekends within Black Ops Cold War and by extension Black Ops Cold War Zombies, where starting Friday, everyone gets double XP, double weapon XP, and double battle pass XP all weekend long from October 22nd to the 25th and October 29th to October 1st. The double battle pass XP especially important if you intend to play Vanguard Zombies when it releases November 5th, you can earn a bunch of free items for Vanguard within the Season 6 Battle Pass that'll be useful when the game actually releases. And lastly, it wouldn't be an episode of the Zombies News Update without a little bit of wackiness to show off to you, so it's time for everybody's favorite segment, Outbreak vs. Vehicles. Where guys, I'm telling you right now, if you're sitting down, hold on to your armrests. If you're standing up watching this for whatever reason, do your best not to get dizzy. As Hampshy402 over on Reddit pops his chopper gunner and enters into a massive spin with whatever this is. Don't stare at it for too long or you might find yourself getting dizzy as well. I've seen clips where chopper gunners will just fly right outside the map, but never anything quite like this. But guys, that wraps up the show today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, if you did, consider leaving a thumbs up on the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Treyarch did make a lot of changes and updates into the Zombies mode yesterday. If you want to know what they changed, we covered it in yesterday's edition of the Zombies News Update, so be sure to tap out if you haven't seen it already, but I'll see you with another Zombies News video tomorrow. Peace.